Hi, and welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you found us here on YouTube. And I hope wherever you are that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and giving you my thoughts on the Oladance wearable stereo. What is a wearable stereo? Are they comfortable? How do they sound? And what are their advantages? Well, those are the questions that we're gonna to answer today, so be sure to stick around. But before I get into it too far, I do wanna say thank you to Oladance for sponsoring this video and sending me the wearable stereo for the purpose of review. But as always, you're getting my honest opinion. And if at any point in time during this video, you wanna learn a little bit more about them or maybe pick up a pair for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below to their product webpage and one to Amazon in case you prefer to shop there. Now these come in a variety of different colors. Now mine are called Martian or Energetic Orange. Now I like that for doing video reviews because they're bright colored and they pop in my videos so that you can see them and see how they perform when I'm out on the run, for example, or out on my mountain bike. But they also come in blue, white, or silver, depending on what your preference is. These do have app support. I love that. I'm glad that Oladance included this with the wearable stereo headset because it allows us to stay up to date with any kind of firmware updates that they might have for these. So I went right to the app store and downloaded it to my iPhone 13 Pro. It downloaded quick and easy. I haven't had any issues. It's been working flawlessly. And there was an update for the firmware for my wearable stereo headset. And in addition to any kind of updates that might be available, there's lots of other things you do on the app as well, including finding out the battery life on the left and the right earbud, but you also have access to an equalizer. And I think that's really cool because you can customize the sound to fit the genre of music that you're listening to. So let's start, we'll talk about comfort first. And for me, that's what's most important. That's number one on my list. And the reason is it doesn't matter how great they sound. If they're not comfortable and they don't fit well, I'm simply not gonna wear them. Now here they have an over the ear design, so nothing's going inside your ear canal like a traditional earbud would. But because these are over your ears, they rest comfortably. There's no real pressure on your ear or ear canal at all. They're lightweight, they stay in place. The fit is just absolutely fantastic. Now, I love to run and I like to mountain bike. So I've had these out on a lot of different types of situations. What I would call high impact sports and I never felt like they were gonna come loose or I was gonna lose one. And they were very comfortable, even on my longest long run. And in some cases that's around three hour period of time. And I didn't experience any kind of ear fatigue. Now, when I got back from that long run and I had turned my music off and I was in that cool down phase, I just forgot that I was wearing them. That's how comfortable these are. So if you're someone who has struggled in the past to find earbuds that fit you well, that are comfortable to wear for long periods of time, well, I think these are a great option for you. So let's talk about sound quality. Now here, Oladance has taken a completely new and innovative approach to delivering superior sound. They're not relying on something that you're sticking into your ear canal or even vibrations, but rather they're directing the sound into your ear canal in a very natural way. And they do that by having 16.5 millimeter dynamic drivers. Now, if you've seen any of my earbud reviews in the past, you know that this is the largest dynamic drivers that I've reviewed for any earbud or bone conduction headphones. And these large dynamic drivers deliver superior sound quality where the highs, the mids, and the lows all blend really well together. The highs are crisp and clear, and the lows bring an energy to the music and to the sound. It's like being on a soundstage or listening to a concert in person, you truly feel like you're sitting next to the musician that's playing it, or maybe listening to a high quality stereo or surround sound system in your living room. Now I like to listen to Spotify when I have these paired with my iPhone 13 Pro, and I listen to all kinds of music, including classic rock, pop, and hip hop, but I also like to listen to podcasts as well. So this is where having access to that app that I mentioned earlier and an equalizer really pays dividends, because you can customize that sound in order to fit your preference and get the most out of your wearable stereo. And because these are a true open ear headphone, you have full transparency. So even though you're getting superior sound quality, you're not giving up the ability to be able to know and be aware of your surroundings. And that's really important to me because I spend a lot of time listening to these outdoors. Like I've mentioned, I like to run, I like to mountain bike. And it's important to me to be able to hear or to be aware of my surroundings so that I can be in tune to any kind of dangers that might be coming my way, such as oncoming traffic, or if I'm out maybe running out at my uh, local state park, 
I need to be aware of what's coming on down the trail, whether it's going to be someone on horseback or a mountain biker or even another runner. So here you can get superior sound quality, but yet you don't give up that transparency that's so important to keep us safe. Now I've paired these with my iPod, my iPad, my iPhone 13 Pro, and my Amazon Fire Stick. And because they feature Bluetooth 5.2, they connected quickly, easily, and that connection was highly stable. So these are not only a great choice as a sport earbud, but as I mentioned, I paired it with my Amazon Fire Stick to watch some movies and the sound quality is excellent. It's like having a theater surround sound system right there in your living room, but still having the full advantage of that transparency mode so you don't feel like you're cut off from the rest of your household. And once it's paired with your Fire Stick, I was able to play or pause the movie and I was able to adjust the volume without having to look for the remote. That's really handy in case you want to maybe get a drink or have a little popcorn or maybe you just want to pause the movie to answer the door, but you can do that without having to search around for the remote. Now, I didn't experience any kind of latency or lag issues while watching movies, and I didn't have to worry about my battery running out because you can expect to get up to 16 hours of playtime on a single charge. Now, these do feature a touch control panel that's located right there where their logo is, and they're very easy and intuitive to use. So if you want to play or pause a song, all you have to do is just single tap. Now, you can also answer a phone call by single tapping as well. Or if you want to advance to the next song, all you have to do is double tap on the right earbud. and It'll move on to the next song. Or maybe you want to replay your favorite song, so you're going to double tap on the left earbud to do that. If you want to end a phone call, you can also use double tap for that as well. Or maybe you want to access your voice assistant. You're going to use triple tap for that. Now, to control your volume, all you need to do is just swipe up and it'll increase the volume, or if you want to bring the volume down, you all you do is just swipe down to lower the volume to the level that you prefer. So let's check out the quality of the built-in microphones. To do that, I'm going to take these outside. I'm going to switch over to the Bluetooth microphones that are built into the Oladance wearable stereo. So this is a test of the built-in microphone of the wearable stereo by Oladance. So this is what it would sound like if you want to use these to take a phone call, or maybe you want to use them as a wireless microphone. So I think they did a great job with the built-in microphones. My voice came through crystal clear and I didn't pick up any ambient noise even though I was outside. Now these are sweat proof and waterproof so they're a good choice to take to the gym for that hard workout. Or maybe if you like to run, hike, or bike and you spend some time outdoors, you don't have to worry that if you get caught in the rain that anything's gonna happen to them, they're gonna be just fine. So let's open up the box and see what all comes inside. See exactly what it is that you're getting for your money. Now, while I'm doing that, just a quick spin around the packaging. They're printed on the side are all of the features that we've just talked about. And then if we flip the box over, you're gonna see some additional information, some specifications about our wearable stereo, including things like Bluetooth 5.2. Now that I have the lid open, right on top, the first thing you're gonna find is our user's guide. Now, I really didn't need to use this. They're very intuitive, simple to use, but it's nice to have just to ensure that we're getting the most out of our wearable stereo. Next, we have our charge case. And then right on top of the charge case, it's just worth noting that they did include some instructions on how to wear your wearable stereo, how to install them on your ears. But again, it's pretty simple uh, for me to do. I didn't really need to refer to that, but it is a nice feature for them to include. The case itself is very, very well built. It, you know, it's smaller than an eyeglass case but you can tell that it's a premium product. It's got just a little bit of weight to it, but not so much that it would be uncomfortable to carry it with you. Quick spin around the case on the back is located our charge port. And then it has a clamshell design. As I open it up, here we have our wearable stereo. Now it does have magnetic charge ports, so they stay in place and you're always ensured that you're getting a good connection to ensure that you're getting good charge and you don't have to worry about them falling out at all. Then if we dig just a little bit deeper into the box and we remove the tray that our wearable stereo case was setting in, there on the bottom of the box, we're going to find our USB to C charge cable. Now, I do appreciate them using such a common cable. It always does kind of bug me a little bit when companies use proprietary charge cables for their products because then if something happened to it, you got to go back to that company to be able to replace it. But with a USB to C, they're so common. Chances are you've got tons of these around the house. And if you don't, they're easy enough to find. So let's set this aside, but take out one of the headsets. I'm going to take out the right one so we can take a closer look at that. 
Now I found these to be really comfortable as I mentioned earlier. The weight is very well balanced. They have the battery that's located there in the back and then the headset itself. Now the two of these are connected with a titanium wire that's really flexible so it's accommodating to all different kinds of ear shapes and sizes. And then it's coated with a silicon based material that feels really comfortable up against my skin. So overall, these are really comfortable. They're lightweight and fit great with the superior sound quality. And I highly recommend them for anyone looking for that true open ear headphone experience with premium sound. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Tim. Yeah, you got me.